is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. For those of you that don't follow the channel, we have been doing a lot of coverage in regards to iOS 16.2 and all their betas that go along with it. Last week, Apple finally released iOS 16.2 RC, which is the release candidate, which in other words traditionally means the final build that will be released to the general public. And traditionally, if Apple follows its history here, is done about a week after that RC build goes out, which puts it at today being Monday, December 12th, or on Wednesday, December 14th, since those are the two days Apple traditionally in the past has released major updates. Having said that, if you guys missed those other videos, I wanted to do one co cohesive video for you guys that show you the majority of the pretty sweet new features in this build so you guys can get ready or look into them if you already have the update. So having said that, let's jump right into this and discuss first what I think a lot of you are going to want, and that's Apple Music Sing. I think this is going to be a hit for a lot of people. This is Apple's version of karaoke, and all you're going to need to do is go to the Apple Music app and find a song. I actually have one already pulled up right here. It's Under the Influence by Chris Brown, and I don't want to get copyright infringement, so I'm only going to play little snippets of this, but you'll get the idea. So in this, you can see you have a new little icon right there. It is basically a microphone with some stars on it. If you want to enable this mode, you will simply click it and adjust right here the volume of the vocals as you need. So all the way up and play it as a traditional song. You'll hear everything like you normally would. Let me skip through to a better part so you can hear. So, right? And then if you swipe it all the way down, or anywhere along the lines, you can see it gives you only the instrumentals. There is no vocals involved. And you can obviously turn it up and hear it a little higher. And it's as simple as that. Pretty neat. I think a lot of people are going to have fun with this. Uh, I think it's a cool addition. I don't think it's anything groundbreaking necessarily, but it is nice to have. Beyond this, Apple actually just integrated in this RC a lot of new security features and a lot are going to go along with iCloud. And if you actually go into it, oh, they actually have some new terms. Let's go ahead and look at this really quick. This will actually show you a lot about what is going on. We'll just agree to this and jump back down into what I wanted to show you. So they are actually going to give you now what's called advanced data protection. So if you slide all the way down here, you can see it's automatically off by default. I believe this will obviously change over time, but for now you do have to enable it and you can see the list of everything now getting encrypted for your protection. So everything from device backups to wallet passes. This is the majority of what everyone uses on their phones. There are some things still off, but you do have to opt in and turn that on. As you can see, it does say iCloud encrypts your data by keeping it secure or to keep it secure, advanced data protection uses end-to-end -end encryption, yada yada. Again, very cool to see. We've already seen a lot of backlash from uh, outside agencies, we'll say, not liking this, but I think it's always a good add-in. More security, the better. Beyond that, this has been around now for a couple of versions, but it is going to be the Freeform app, and you can see we kind of touched on it already and messed with it. I have a test here. You can see everything on this big display here. It is very, very intuitive. You can share, you can work uh, collectively with teams. You can add, obviously, photos like you can see here. Post-it notes, drawings, handwritings. There is a lot that can be done here, and I think this is going to be very good, uh, a very good whiteboard app for the iPhone or iOS devices. There are two new lock screen widgets as well. So if you want to go ahead and get into this and customize lock screen say I want to delete that so there are a couple of new ones under health which is medication if you guys need to track this better you can view reminders and quickly access your schedule right here through that and then also beyond all that we do have a ton of very welcome changes to the always on display so going into the display and then going down to always on you now have a couple of more options instead of just on or off you can now obviously have it show your wallpaper 
or notifications. You can toggle either one on and off independently. So finally, you have a basic black and white display if you so choose, kind of like a traditional Android wallpaper and AOD looked. Uh, I personally like it. I don't think there was much of an issue with it before, but I you have an option now. <laughs> so beyond that, there is a change in the Apple TV app for live activities. It is back. What you're going to need to do is go into your watch now section and scroll down until you see live sports. And there has to be something going on live for you to be able to select and then follow. Since there's not right now, I did record a little snippet. I do want to show you guys. Let me go to it. So like I said, what you're going to see, you're going to go right into the app and scroll down live sports. And I will select, there's actually a football game on. Let's look at a basketball game because this seems to be the most consistent. You see there's that new follow option. You'll be able to select that. And now when you swipe down, you'll see it on the dynamic island. If you can click on it, it'll show you actual live plays. And then it will actually give you more feedback on the lock screen itself as well. It's not going to show you that now unfortunately because if I lock it obviously screen recording does end but it is there as a nice option to have. I'm a personal fan of it. I've spoken to this on other videos. I think if you're a sports fan, Sports Alert has the best options. It gives you a ton of uh, options to pick from for sports right now and it is still growing. So that is a huge huge addition as well. One thing I can't decide if I like now more or less but the new, let me go to it, there we go. The new airdrop settings are live. Now, unfortunately, there is no consistent mode to leave on for everybody. Like what was done in China, now you only have everyone for 10 minutes. And then it will default right back to contacts only. So, take that for what you will. I don't like it personally, but that is what it is now. Beyond that, there is more home uh, home architecture. If you go in the home app, they got ready for matter support. They overhauled this quite a bit. I think it looks a lot nicer here than what it did in the past. More accessories will be compatible and coming soon for this. And then obviously you're going to have a couple of other smaller features for SharePlay now supporting Game Center. So you can play multiplayer games with people you are on a FaceTime call with. You have support for 5G networks in India. That's going to be massive for them. That's awesome to see. You're going to have some more options in the weather app where it actually will take you to um, Apple News sections if applicable. And then there's also a new search in your messaging app as well to get features a little quicker. So if you're looking for photos based on their context like a dog, a cat, or a boat or something, you can now do so right in line. But yeah, those are a couple of them. Obviously not all inclusive. There's so much more to look over. But those are some of the big features I wanted to show you guys. Let me know what you think. Are you going to be downloading this on day one? Make sure to thumbs up this video. It really helps us out. Subscribe to the channel, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.